This is the front-facing camera test in the night mode of the OnePlus Nord and I'm standing here in a park um, which apparently is or was the location of uh, one of the first parliaments of uh, New Zealand in Auckland and I'm walking a bit around here this is by the way the front-facing camera 32 megapixels and you can see here uh, behind me the sign it tells you more about the first parliament and I want to check if this camera can perform good in low light conditions so I will walk through the really dark uh, darkish kind of park here and see if it is working it is tracking my face but probably you <laughs> will not see much of my face right now and uh, ah, now when I'm facing the light you will see it a little bit more um, what can you expect from a mid-range device when it comes to low light quality it is uh, pretty bad I would say but I think it is manageable still as uh, long as you find some light sources like as uh, I do here and uh, yes this is the um, front-facing camera test I can switch to the wide angle but be aware the wide angle is not the best so this is now the wide angle on the front uh, 8 megapixels and you can see clearly it's decreasing in terms of quality everything behind me becomes really blurry and um, almost unusable I would say so I wouldn't really recommend using the wide angle camera in low light and um, would stick if you really you have to do a selfie or video vlogging test like I do here I would stick to the 32 megapixel because with pixel binning and uh, the wider bigger sensor bigger pixels you get a little bit more out of the uh, normal front camera but how about the back cameras are they any better so now recording with the main camera 48 megapixels uh, is the back camera better than the front camera in terms of low light performance and video how about the stabilization I'm walking here normal walking speed I would say is it worth using still in low light let's go a little bit to the to the light source here and see is it, if it becomes any better I think it should become a little bit better and uh, when it comes to like using the ultra wide it's the same story as when using the front camera and the ultra wide there it is not recommended in low light performance but I can try for you anyway so uh, now the wide angle on the back camera still the same position nothing big changed let's walk a little bit you can see that probably stabilization is worse you see a noise creeping in so the super wide angle camera in low light is nothing that you really should use only if you really have to use it uh, when it comes to recording videos let's take a look at the photos of the oneplus nord in the night and you can see here the photo you can see on the left the settings used by the camera of the oneplus nord so first of all what we can see here this is a little park in front of the first parliament um, yeah the first par apparently where the first parliament in new zealand was standing and it was night time i took the nightscape mode here of the main sensor and you can see it is brightening up the scene very much you can see a little bit of blurriness here because it is stick stitching together multiple shots for creating this night time or nightscape picture and you can see very nicely details are there but if you zoom in of course it is falling apart because it is night time the next shot is without nightscape mode so just to test out if there's a bit of light how do the sensors uh, react on this and this is pretty interesting because this is like if you can see here um, a little bit brighter than the actual scene that I saw with my naked eyes so the main sensor of 48 megapixel and its pixel binning is doing already without Nightscape mode a pretty good job when it comes to the text itself you can read the introduction everything else is a bit of blurry and mm, barely readable I would say when we go into the two times zoom which is possible of course you're not the, using the nightscape mode in nightscape mode two times zoom is disabled but if you're using the two times zoom here you can see interestingly enough 
it is uh, making the text readable which is like uh, likely telling me that the processing is not just a cropping in they are doing some optimizations there as well to make it uh, possible to read stuff uh, like this here yeah. so they are doing some optimizations with the two times zoom so two times zoom in night mode or in night time only if there's enough light available otherwise don't use it and this is the ultra wide the ultra wide captures more how the scene really looked to my naked eye so it was a bit darker as you can see here uh, of course the ultra wide even in daylight has problems with a bit of sharpness in the middle it's sharp but the rest is a little unsharp here you can see heavy um, uh, processing in terms of noise reduction that makes everything a blurry mess here you can read the title of the sign but everything else is pretty much unreadable when we take a look at how the nightscape mode works this is a shot without the nightscape mode with the main sensor and this is a shot with the nightscape mode with the main sensor you can see it is brightening up everything you can see now clearly the color of this building which you didn't see here and you can see some other details as well so it is brightening up the scene a lot and you can see this here as well it is sometimes over exaggerating colors as well this is the night time shot without nightscape and this is the one with nightscape you can see of course it is raising the shadows in this area but it is also um, changing the colors slightly here you can see this is more what i saw with my naked eyes and this is how it is ex exaggerating the colors a little bit erasing them as well and uh, the red is a bit more red than here and yeah this is how the night time or nightscape mode works and uh, this is a funny <laughs> shot a little bit i took this one with a ultra wide angle in nightscape mode you can see mm, blurry mess very dark but it is just to show you that it is actually the scene that i saw when i took the shot and you can see you can uh, zoom in here a bit there's a four lease sign there's a bit of um, greenish light coming through here and here mm, a sign i cannot read and here a number i can barely see it's a 90 and that's all <laughs> and the interesting part is when i took the next shot in nightscape mode with the main sensor you can see a funny detail there was a dude doing his business there and i, I i'm very honest i didn't see him it was like literally this was what i saw maybe a little bit brighter but I didn't see this dude there. And later on, when I was checking my photos after coming home, I saw this dude doing his business there. Uh, and this is how powerful the nightscape mode is, that even those kind of little dirty secrets can be seen. But you can see here, it's brightening up a lot. It could be a daylight photo if there was no shadow of me here. And you can see the for lease sign, you can read the number underneath it. Uh, you can even see and read the number here, not the number, the, the text here and uh, see the little details here you can see the color of this 90 uh, here as well the color of the bricks and uh, the color of the oval scene very interesting it makes it very bright um, details are not 100 percent there but again it can produce from a night a day light picture and in comparison the normal camera picture looks like this you see a little bit darker here but still you can make out the 90 here even the color you can make out if you zoom in you can make out the four lease sign uh, here as well and you can make out the dude as well at least a little bit <laughs> um, so this is also possible then the next thing how does um, the nightscape mode work in bright conditions here we have like a little food court where you can uh, buy and eat some food uh, various different shops that offer some different foods here uh, we zoom in you can see they have some paintings uh, or stickers on the wall showing the food some of them are closed because it's uh, dark already but some of them are still open and what i want you to concentrate on is the lights here the neon lights as you can see here they are very very bright and this is the normal shot with the 48 megapixels and this is the uh, nightscape shot you can see it's just toning a little bit down everything so the bright spots get a little bit darker and creating the effect that i can see now the clear lever to neon lights here is a bit mm, still rough on the edges but uh, you can see also the contrast and sharpness is kicking in because it is stitching together multiple images and next one also shows again the power of the nightscape mode because i couldn't see this green uh, flower this, this green bush here or uh, everything else here uh, it was dark 
it was really really dark i couldn't see much and this is like creating again from darkness a daylight picture so this is how powerful the oneplus nord uh, night mode is again it is falling uh, a bit down when it comes to taking realistic night shots this is not the nightscape mode is not for this unlike the uh, xperia 10 mark ii for example which tries to create a realistic night uh, shot this is uh, trying to create a daylight shot out of night if you want to have a night shot what you have to do is just take a normal shot with the main camera you can also take good shots with the ultra wide sometimes if you have enough light just like for example this here a staircase from a building and uh, yeah a bit of artistic uh, kind of photo uh, and here i can zoom even in and the interesting part is in nightscape mode i have the feeling that it is a bit tiny bit sharper in nightscape mode with the ultra wide if you have enough light because it's stitching together multiple uh, photos as in uh, daylight where it is a bit unsharper uh, when it comes to this uh, even in the middle but still you can get some nice decent shots with the ultra wide but only occasionally most of the time it's unusable in night mode there again a shot with the nightscape mode of the pullman hotel uh, pullman hotel in new zealand is where people that arrive to new zealand have to quarantine for 14 days and also those people who are infected or potentially infected have to quarantine there or well, there's at least one uh, uh, corridor uh, for those kind of people and uh, this is the um, nightscape mode with the main and this is the nightscape mode with the ultra wide you can see the ultra wide again barely usable uh, it's showing the more realistic um, scene that i saw with my naked eyes in terms of uh, how bright it was there in reality but when you just zoom in a little bit it's falling apart and you can see that it's soft um, and uh, noise is there noise reduction is very aggressive in uh, trying to get rid of it and its benefit is in contrast to the shot without nightscape mode that it's stitching together multiple pictures to um, get less blurry and uh, or less noise as well again this is the nightscape mode main sensor which is brightening everything up and this could be also yeah i wouldn't say daylight but it's a uh, at least it looks a lot brighter than in reality because this is a nightscape mode with the ultra wide and this is the more realistic photo that i saw with my naked eyes as well and when it comes to details you can see that uh, it is blurry and not very detailed when it comes to this so um i would say the the nightscape mode in ultra wide is barely usable but more realistic it gives a more realistic night feeling and if you want to have a more realistic night feeling with uh, the main camera then don't use the nightscape mode uh, if you want to take a photo in pure or pitch darkness and um, brighten it up to make it daylight then use the nightscape mode for this though it has not 100 percent details are not there there are better uh, phones for this and phone cameras for this but still of all i think the pictures uh, with the main camera are the ones that you should use when you want to take great uh, pictures in the dark one thing i definitely noticed is uh, that when you are using the um, cameras for nightscape you only have the option to use the main sensor and the ultra wide sensor so there's no cropping in there's no zooming in into uh, the sensor so there's no two times zoom or something like this in nightscape mode so uh, what you also notice is when I compare the uh, main sensor photos in nightscape and or night vision or however they call it then in night uh, mode um, if you compare it with the ultra wide sensor the ultra wide sensor is a lot darker and it's not able to pull out so much shadow details like the main sensor is and the main sensor uh, frankly speaking I don't need to even use the night mode for it here in the city if a little bit of street lights here and there I can just use the normal mode to uh, take photos and it will look decent enough I would say so uh, this is basically everything for my night mode test uh, and my little excursion here around uh, Auckland city in the night and I hope you enjoyed this video you can like share subscribe ask questions in the comment section and that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it until the next time bye